Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today's video is going to be an intro into tweens. So I'll show you how to set up a basic tween, and then we'll use that on some different properties of a part. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So a tween is an easy way to transition properties from one value to another. In this first example, you can see we're using a tween on the transparency property. So it's changing between a value of 0 and 1 and smoothly going between those two different values. Over here, we can see that we can also use it on a part's color. So it's starting at one color and then going to a different one. Right in front of us here, we can see we can also use it on the size property. We can use it on the orientation and also the position. Okay, so now that we looked at a couple examples, let's go ahead and start with the coding. Let's go ahead and start by setting up a basic tween to change the transparency of this part here. So to do that, I'm going to insert a script inside the part. To start off the script, we just need to create a variable for the part. So I'm just going to say local part, and that's going to be equal to script dot parent. Next, we're going to create a variable for the tween service. So we can say local and then tween service. You're welcome to shorten this up if you want to, but just remember to change it throughout the script. So tween service is going to be equal to game colon get service. Inside the parentheses, we're going to put tween service inside of quotation marks. After that, we're going to set up the tween info, which is going to modify how the tween looks. So to do that, let's say local tween info. And that's going to be equal to tween info dot new. With the mouse in between the two parentheses, go ahead and drop down a few lines. The first part of tween info is the time. So this is going to be how long it takes the tween to complete. So let's go ahead and start off by saying five. So it's going to be five seconds. And that is our time. The next property is the easing style. To set that, we're going to say enum dot easing style. There's a couple different easing styles, but we're going to start with linear. After each of these properties, we're going to put a comma, except for the last one. So that one is our easing style. Next is the easing direction. So that's going to be very similar. We're going to say enum dot easing direction. And then for this easing direction, we're just going to say out. The next property of the tween info is going to be the repeat count. So you can set a number like three, and that means it's going to repeat three times. If you want it to repeat forever, then you're going to do minus one. The next property is going to set whether it reverses or not. Let's go ahead and have it reverse. We're going to say true. And the final property is delay time, which we're going to set to zero. Okay, after you set up the tween info, we're going to create the tween and then play it. To do that, we can say local tween. And that's going to be equal to tween service colon create. Inside the parentheses, you're going to start with the object that you want to tween. So that's going to be our part. Next, we're going to insert the tween info by saying tween info. We want it to match the variable name. So whatever you put here is what you're going to put here. And the final part is going to be the property of the part that we're going to be tweening. So in this first example, we're going to be changing the transparency. So inside of curly brackets, I'm going to put transparency. And we're going to set it to whatever value we want it to go to. So by default, this part is set to zero transparency. So it's going to use this tween to go from zero to one. And we know from our tween info that it's going to take five seconds to go from that zero to one. And the final thing we have to do after we create the tween is going to be to play it. So to do that, we're just going to say tween colon and play. All right, so let's go and run the game and check it out. And we can see here that our tween is transitioning the transparency from zero to one. And since we set the repeat to negative one, it just keeps doing that over and over again. The same basic format is gonna to apply to these other parts. The only part of the script that we're gonna be changing is the property. So if we take a look at this one where we have it spinning, the only part of the script that changes is this last part right here. So instead of the transparency, we're gonna be changing the orientation. And this is the new value we want it to go to. If we take a look at our color part, we can see it's the same. The only change is the property and then the value we want it to go to. The same goes for the size part. So here we're just changing the size. These two back here are a little bit different and I'll explain why I set them up this way. So here we have the main part and then we have this part over here. So I'm using this part right here as the position of where it should go to. And the reason I'm doing that is rather than setting the values like we did before, you can just set it to go to this part right here 
and if you want to make a change to it, you can just drag it to the new location. It just makes it a little bit easier to modify so that you don't have to reset the values. You can just drag the part and it's automatically going to go there. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we set these up. So here we can see it's exactly the same. For the position, rather than setting it to a value, I'm setting it to the part's position. So this other part right here is called target. So in the script for this one, I'm setting equal to game.workspace.target. So that's the part right here. And I'm using the position of that part. So let's say I want to move this somewhere over here. Let's go ahead and test it out and see how it looks. You can see I didn't have to make any changes to the code, and it goes to the new spot. This one right here is just a slight variation of it. Rather than having both parts on the ground, one part is on the ground, and the other part is in the air. And just as a final note, for any part that you're going to have move, it's probably a good idea to anchor that part. That way, if a player bumps into it, it doesn't go crazy. And probably the best way to figure out what these two properties do is just by changing them. So let's go ahead and change it from linear to a different property. So let's go ahead and change it to bounce. And we can see what that looks like. And we can see when we change it to bounce, the speed is not consistent throughout. And once the part reaches the top, it bounces a little bit. All right, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. In the description, I'll leave a couple links that explain these properties and what your different options are. If you want to see anything else with tweens, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.